What's going on guys? It's Nathan Fran. Today we'll be going over psychosis and what psychosis is and how you develop it and the signs and symptoms if you do have it or you know someone that might be like having those symptoms. Well, first, what is psychosis? Is used to describe conditions that affect the mind where there has been some loss of contact from with reality when someone becomes ill in this way it is called a psychotic episode during a period of psychosis a person's thought and perceptions are disturbed and the individuals may have difficulty understanding what is real and what is not or who can develop psychosis psychosis can affect many people from all walks of life often begins with people in his or her late teens or mid 20s there are about a hundred thousand new cases of psychosis each year in the US um, this website I got this from is from the National Institute of Mental Health so if you guys are curious about that um, I just want to say this real quick I hope you guys are doing good I hope you guys are staying safe and if you haven't, hit that like and subscribe button for future videos and make sure you get notified so you never miss out on more helpful videos like these. And if you guys have any like questions, comments, concerns, or you guys want a certain video, let me know down below. Let's get right back into it. The signs. These are some of the signs and symptoms. Uh, typically, a person will show changes in his or her behavior before psychosis develops behavioral warning signs for psychosis includes sudden drop in grades or job performance new trouble thinking clearly or concentrating suspiciousness paranoid ideas or uneasiness with others withdraw socially spend a lot more time alone than usual unusual overly intense new ideas strange feelings are not feeling at all decline in self-care or personal hygiene difficult telling reality from fantasy confused speech or trouble communicating uh, symptoms of psychosis include delusion hallucinations incoherent or nonsense speech and behavior that is inappropriate for the situation a person in a psychotic episode may also may experience depression anxiety sleep problems social withdrawal lack of motivation and difficulty functioning overall someone experiencing certain prescription medications and misuse of alcohol or other drugs such as marijuana, I don't really call it marijuana a drug, but that's just me, besides the point. A mental health illness such as schizophrenia is typically diagnosed by excluding all of those other cause of psychosis. To receive a thorough assessment and accurate diagnosis, visit a professional. This is how you can treat it. Studies have shown that it's common for people to have psychotic symptoms for many more than a year before receiving treatment reducing this duration or untreated psychosis is critical because early treatment often means a better recovery a qualified psychiatrist or social worker will be able to make a diagnosis and help develop a, a treatment plan for you now that one's really short I'm not sure why it's so short, but if you guys have any recommendation videos, let me know down below. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below as well. And if you haven't, hit that like and subscribe button for future videos and make sure you get notified. And if these videos have helped you in any way, make sure you share with friends so we can get the message out. And be sure to stay safe. I love you guys. I will see you in the next video.